part two of lecture four, basic concepts, components. Now, components, uh, it's something that you add to an object that makes the object do stuff. That's pretty much all. So you have a bunch of different components. For example, you want an object to fall. You add a component, the physics component, and you just make the object fall. Um, there's a lot of things that you can read here, but again, I'm just going to go ahead and uh, explain them uh, one by one on Unity. So let's head back to Unity. Oops, what did I do? Okay, so I'm going to head back to Unity and start explaining what are components. First things first, I'm going to create an empty object that doesn't have any component. Usually, empty objects doesn't have any component. We use this pretty much for like adding scripts or, you know, creating the object ourselves. So if I minimize this cube because I'm not going to use it anymore and I'm actually I'm going to hide it. So I'm going to go to the inspector and hide this cube so I don't see it in the scene anymore. I'm going to come here and create, right click, create empty and I'm going to call this, for example, um, component, component object. Now you don't have to call it component object just, just because of the lecture, just to keep things simple. I'm going to select the game object and I'm going to reset its position. Now, let's assume that you are going to create a cube out of components, right? So you basically have this empty game object that you can't even see in the scene, but you want to make a cube out of it. To do it, you go here, right click, and actually you just go to the inspector and you just see add component. You can click on add component and here you can see there's a bunch of different drop downs you can select from. We usually don't use these, instead we search for whatever we want. At you will get used to this when you start using components more often. For example, let's say you want something like to do with physics. You go to physics and you can find it here. But instead, you would, for example, um, search for rigid body. Okay. Now, let's start by creating a cube. Now, a cube needs something called mesh filter. Mesh filter is basically what makes the cube look like a cube. It has a mesh on it. Okay. So, the mesh, the mesh filter must have something called mesh render to render the the object of course or the mesh so i'm gonna go ahead and search for mesh render and i'm gonna add both of them to add a cube to make it look like a cube you go to the mesh of course because each component has different properties different settings for example the mesh render has these different settings which we will cover later in our next lecture for example you can make the game object cast shadow you can make it uh, it can make it have different material, different colors, and so on. So I'm going to go ahead and select this little circle right here to select a mesh. So if you click on this one, you can see here that we have a bunch of different, what do you call them, a bunch of different uh, um, meshes that you can use. Um, and you can see here that they are pink. It's because they don't have a material. They don't have a texture. They don't have a color on them. So I'm going to always, I'm going to select cube and I'm going to go down to the mesh render and I'm going to add something called a material. Now, the material again is something that gives your game object a texture, uh, an appearance or like a color, okay? So if you click on this little circle right here, you can see here that we have a bunch of different um, material that we can choose from. So I'm going to go ahead and select the cube one. So you select that and that's all. That's pretty much it. That's what you can do with game objects. Now, let's say you want this game object to fall. So let's add some gravity, some physics to this game object. So I'm going to go ahead and move it up. Now, if I start the game, if I click play, nothing is going to change. And this is because we don't have the component that makes the object fall. Now, to add this component, you can go ahead and add a component and you can search for rigid body. Now, rigid body basically is something that uses uh, something called gravity, which makes the object fall if it's enabled. It's basic physics. So if I enable user gravity, if I keep it checked, Control S to save, and then I click play here, you can see now the game object is falling, and it's no, never going to stop. It's just going to keep falling all the way down. <laughs> see, the game object is still here, and I can get, ready, get rid of the game object or the component by clicking on the three dots and just remove component or you can reset by hitting reset this will basically reset all the settings or properties to default but i'm going to go ahead and remove it now we will explain more about the components later on in our video